And joining us right now is Robert Hunziker. Robert, we had you on We The People recently, and I know you're feeling under the weather, so thank you for joining us anyway today. Yeah, no problem. And if you can't understand something I'm saying, just let me know and I'll repeat. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Uh, man, you sound harsh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's just start with uh, why you're running. Um, you know, you're, you're running as a candidate in Congressional District 8 in Washington, which is a ginormous according to this map, pink district. Um, I'm going to show that here. And this, <laughs> yeah. is, this is the massive amount of space you have to deal with here. What's, what's going on there? You're running against uh, uh, Dino Rossi. Why why uh, why'd you decide to do that? Well, when I started, he wasn't actually in the race yet. Oh. Uh, but uh, he's, he's running to replace um, the, the current incumbent. And um, I'm, I'm running just because we need candidates simply who refuse to take corporate money uh, and big donor money and PAC money. Um, we need uncorrupted candidates who actually represent the people. A big complaint people had in my district um, from, uh, from years past is just that they, they don't have any representation. Even Dino Rossi is, is going the same route and saying, you know what, I'm, I'm not holding any town halls. I'm not doing any debates. Uh, basically, I'm not going to go meet with the people in my district and find out what they want, what they need. And that's ridiculous. I had a town hall just the other week. Uh, it's really not that hard. There's tons of resources uh, in both King and Pierce County, uh, two, two of the counties that are in my district, that, that you can have free locations to give town halls. It's, it's ridiculous that you wouldn't do that. And that just shows the lack of representation that we have in this country. Absolutely, absolutely, and uh, forgive me for my misunderstanding. There uh, is is Dino Rossi the establishment Dem, or is he a Republican? He, he is a Republican. Yeah. Republican. Okay. Uh, so there's there are establishment Democrats running as well. Um, we have quite a few. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, Popular district, apparently. Yeah, there's there's currently a bid, and there's a big fear because Washington has the uh, what's called jungle primaries, uh, which means that just the top two get in, no matter okay. what they're with um so there that i think it was in tacoma that they had a, a a primary where the last second another republican swooped in and um they split the republican vote far less than they split the democratic vote because there were uh, i think five uh democrats running at that time hmm. so the two republicans got in even though the democrats had a much bigger share of the votes but it's kind of the nature of the general primary just who, who the top two who get in, no matter what their party is. And that's kind of the big fear of what's going on in my current district. We have uh, six. It changes on a regular basis, so you have to forgive me if I don't know off the top of my head. Sure. Uh, fill in who's not. Um, it's all right. We, we had somebody jump in for all of two days to my race. That's uh, that's how crazy it is in this particular race. Wow. Uh, we've got we've got five pretty steady people on the Democratic side who who are running. And how has your treatment been uh, by the Democratic Party proper? Uh, good? Bad? No, not, not good. Uh, so the people who attend Democratic events uh, are often great and uh, you know, want, to, want, to find, want to find out more about me and are excited about what I have to say. Uh, not every district or not every LD, but in most of them. Um, but then the establishment uh, people who are running things aren't that interested in anything I have to say or what I have to do. And I've even been told by some of the people who have endorsed me that they were approached by some of the leadership of the Democratic Party asking them to consider one of the two female candidates running on the Democratic side and not meet myself, even though their issues and ideals don't match up. Interesting. Yeah. So even though I, I earned those endorsements, they're, they're trying to undercut those endorsements instead of staying out of it and letting, letting things be. That's not very democratic. Doesn't, doesn't no, seem. no, not so much. <laughs> do you have access to Van? Is that has that been an issue? I do not. Um, the they told me from the the go get go that I would need to get one LD endorsement, um, and I just finished yesterday. Um, I think I, I've done now all but two of the LDs in my district uh, endorsement meetings um, that are going to happen. Okay, and um, so the. I, I don't think they're going to make any decisions for another couple of weeks. So 
even the prospect of getting a van access is is still weeks out. So yeah, your primary is um, not for a while. I mean, you got to start going now, but your primary is coming up in several months, right? Um, yeah, August. But August, yeah. Being that um, I'm not getting that big corporate money, the van access would would allow me to keep up and keep competitive. Right. Uh, Did they offer you a price? Often they'll say, but you can buy for it. No. No, not even a price. Wow. Nope. Wow. That's Nothing. that's that's. Uh, it, it took some doing to even get a, an answer. Um, I requested van access several times, and that it just went ignored. Um, and that's for the most part. That's how it's been. Um, either by phone calls or through the website. Um, and I, I went through other means. Uh, some of the people who were running some of the forums that I participated in uh, was able, were able to give me some information. No, no. That's, uh, that's, that's unfortunate. Um, yeah. So it's, uh, yeah, it's just unfortunate for democracy. Uh, so I, I, I understand, and, and I, I apologize for bringing it on, that, you're, that um, your father just passed, and, and you're not going to be doing an event soon. Um, uh, I'm sorry for your loss, but uh, when, when, you know, when you heal up, uh, what is your priority uh, for getting back on the campaign? What, 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 do, you, what do you think you'll be doing? Uh, canvassing? What do you do most? Yeah, well, we need to do more canvassing. We need to get signatures to get me on the ballot. Uh, also need to do some fundraising. I have a current campaign that I started, uh, I believe it was a week ago. It was just, just before I found out about my grandfather. Um, so sorry. Was, yeah, I appreciate it. Um, that sucks. It's, yeah, it's been a rough week, um, and we're still, we're still trying to figure out everything. Um, I don't know if I'm flying out this week or not. Um, but... But yeah, it's it's we were we're putting together a goal to try and get a ground game going, um, and I have a, a goal to raise thirty thousand um, dollars, and we can do it at three dollars a donation. Uh, I've already got three hundred, and I haven't even been advertising it really yet. So that's awesome. Uh, you can get there by going to voterobertunsker dot com slash donate, um, and you can see the little ticker as we we get through. The more people we can get. Uh, to donate little bit by little bit, the, the better. Um, you know, I said if for for all those who are in Washington who support the progressive movement, if you all did two or three dollars per candidate, wouldn't take you a lot of money, and you could fully fund every month all the candidates. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about donating. Yeah, it's a matter of numbers, isn't it? We just got to get enough people involved, and we don't need. It's like Bernie Sanders was able to raise a tremendous amount of money because he had so many people donating, and Washington can do the same with its progressive candidates. Yeah, I've done as much with offhand uh, about two thousand dollars as some of my other uh, counterparts in this race have done with uh, almost a hundred thousand dollars. So it's when you're running a grassroots progressive campaign, a little bit goes a long way. You're not blowing your money on on TV ads that don't really do anything. You're not blowing your money on high-priced you know consultants that'll just eat up all your budget and and get you to do the wrong things. Right, right. It's uh, uh and, and and most of the progressive candidates that I've spoken with, the primary cost is travel, is getting around, or uh, you know yeah. printing materials to hand out while you're knocking on doors. You know. Yeah, and there's going to be some parts of my district that are just not going to be practical to canvas. Um, I have a lot of wilderness in my district. Yeah, you um, do. Remote areas. So to canvas those areas, I'm going to need about $10,000 to do direct mailers. Wow. Uh, yeah. yeah. We need to we need to have the resources for people to go canvas, things like that. Um, that's why we have that $30,000 uh, goal right now. Right. Right. That's. I mean, that's just a lot of time. A lot of uh, the mailers is the smartest way to go because you can't you can't yeah. travel that distance. That's unless you got you know unless your establishment yeah. backed, <laughs> you can't travel that distance. And they don't need yeah. to do that. They just run commercials, right? They do commercials and direct mailers. That's going to be how they're doing it. In fact, uh, Kim Schreier, I believe it was at our second LD uh, forum that we did uh, um, the end of January. She said, you know, we're not going to win this thing as much as I'd like to. We're not going to win this thing by door knocking. Right. Um, then I'm like, yeah, you can. You, you can win this thing by door knocking. You do have to do other things, too. Um, but it's you, you do have to get out there and meet people. Oh, yeah. Um, do you have do you yeah. have a, a, a access to a phone banking tool? I have access to a phone banking tool, but um, not a the the numbers to call off of so right. I'm, I'm, yeah. i have my own list that i've formed from networks and connections i've made 
Um, but uh, that van access would be nice to get those phone numbers. <laughs> wow. Wow. A lot of, lot of undemocratic things going on with the Democratic Party here in Washington <laughs> State. Uh, the reason why we need to elect progressives like you, Robert. Thank you so much for running. Thank you. It is the hardest thing to do. Um, if you want to help Robert get rid of a fool uh, and a whole bunch of other fools that are competing against him, we need to get Robert some funds. We must fund our own. Right. Mm -hmm. Robert told you where to go. His website. Uh, everybody knows that you can go to NMF dot uphillmedia.org and donate to all of the candidates click directly to their websites or their donation link uh, from that please share with us on twitter uh, or in social with the hashtag no more fools and let us know what you have donated and we'll try to keep track we did this last time with the eclipse robert thank you so much for being with us i hope you feel better soon sir uh, and thank so you. sorry for your loss